Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna show you my art snacks um box. So this is the one for the month of September and um, I'm excited to see what what's here. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so I'd open it um, off camera because I always struggle with this. <laughs> so. This is the inside. Oh, it seems like another sharpen. Alright, so here's the menu. And let's see a little joke, <laughs> like every month. What do you call a doctor that doesn't exist? I mean, a doc. What the fuck? What do you call a color that doesn't exist? And the answer is a pigment of your imagination. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of them. Supplies, and this is the candy of the month. That's a warhead. And it's a black cherry one. So let's get this out of the way. And let me get my sketchbook so I can start um, swatching all of this. So here's my sketchbook. And um, let's start with writing out the month. So in the future, I know um, which one this is uh, referring to. All right, so it is. Um, so let's see our first supply. It is the Derwent line marker set of three, which I think, yeah, it's this one. And it says Darwin line. Oh, it retails for ten ninety nine. And it says Darwin line markers are super fine, free flowing fine liners that produce consistent lines filled with permanent fast drying pitman ink. They work well with a variety of mediums. This set has all of your drawing needs covered with three different nib, nib sizes: 0 0.1 millimeters, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. Ah, oh, so there's the little little box. This is what they look like. Okay, pretty nice. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, so y'all can see. So this, let's start with uh, point one. Mm, yeah, you know what you expect of a fine liner. Point three, it's a little bit thicker, obviously. And the five. I don't know why I made that square bigger. Draw the color black. So let's write it right here. There went line markers. Alright. So the second one is the Montana acrylic marker two millimeters and it retails for four ninety-five. And it says, get a taste of Montana's Bold Street Style with the 2mm acrylic marker. This handy tool can be used on almost any surface. It's water-based acrylic paint that's highly pigmented, which provides a matte, 
vibrant coverage. The, this marker is also refillable and then it is replaceable, so you can use it a lifetime. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's why I like Copics. So I'm pretty sure it's like in this one right here. So let's open this up. Jesus. <clears throat> Ooh, looks nice. So here it is. And give me the name of the color. Royal red. It's right here. Oh, can't see it right here. So let's open it up. Yeah, so there's the pigment. That's very nice. It's a very nice red. That's a uh, go. Oh no, I can't really see it. Okay, cool. Um. Can try to make um, thin lines or really thick ones. I mean, it looks kind of the same, but you can cover pretty much large, large areas with this. And it seems like it's drawing fast. So this is really nice color. I really like that. And the fact that you can refill it, it's pretty amazing. So here's the Montana. Uh, really? Marker. And let's go for our third supply, which is a Tombow Fulanoske Twin Tip Brush Pen, Black Gray. I hmm. Reads us for $5.49. It's, uh, it's a staff favorite with black ink on one end and gray ink on the other. The Tombow Fuden Noske Twin Tip Brush Pen. It's perfect for both hand lettering and illustration. The firm yet flexible brush tips can create extra fine, finer, medium strokes with a simple change in pressure. Another perk of this unique pen is waterproof once dry. So, this is what it looks like. And. I have one of these and I'm pretty sure they gave us they gave it to us in another um, box but I need to check that out let's test it first so here's the black um, on this side and yeah you can really you can really do thick strokes or really thin strokes depending on the pressure um, so let's try it out with the other side, which is the gray. So let's, you know, really thick strokes, really thin ones. And but uh, So let's write that down. And um, let me see if I can find, because I'm pretty sure I have this already. And the only art subscription box that I have is this one, so let me let me try to look for it. And if I can't find it, then I just bought it, I guess. So you know I was right. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the other one that I had. Cause um I remember me liking it, so I was like, I'm pretty sure I got this before. So here are the two. And I usually keep the the menus. And this is for uh, Art Snacks in April 2018, I would like to say. And here it is. You 
you can see tumble furnace scale brush pencil the black gray and still the same yeah same price and everything but yeah i remember that they had it before so i just wanted to add that so let's continue with the Kum cool Magnesium, Magnesium Long Point Purse Pencil Sharpener. And it's this one. And I've gotten so many pencil sharpeners with uh, art snacks. I have a collection now. <laughs> but I think my favorite is the one that I'm still using, which is this one. I forgot what um, um, month I got it, but I'll link it if I find it. So now it's just, it says, oh. Create long sharp pencil points with the Kum Magnesium Long Point Pencil Sharpener. This tool shaves off wood while also sharpening the graphite core all in one motion. Made from strong, lightweight magnesium alloy, it's a great addition to your pencil pouch. I usually don't like sharpeners that don't have a cover, but yeah. So I can't try it right now, obviously. And the last, but oh, it retails for $1.95. So this is the last supply. It's a Shinhan Art Touch Drawing Pencil, 160 retail. And it says, add a touch of high quality graphite to your work with the Shinhan Art Touch Drawing Pencil. This tool produces smear proof lines, allowing you to create crisp and clean drawings with wonderfully textured shading and blending. All right, so here's what it looks like. This is a 3H. Um, so let's test this out, I guess. This is kind of kind of nice. Like it's not breaking off at all. Yeah, it does create like a long point. So if you're into that, I guess you will like this sharpener. That's pretty nice. So we tested the sharpener. And here's the pencil. And then it's a 3H. Oh, I like the color when this dried out. It was more vibrant when it was uh, wet. So, shame. Shame. Um, art. Touch. Drawing. Pencil. And it says that it doesn't smear. Oh. Did we lie? Cause that's not smearing. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's advertised as it's not smearing, so. Oh, uh, so this is. Oh, let me show you this sticker of the. Oh, that's cute. It has little ice cream cones. That's cute. So, yeah, this are the. This are, where did I move the. Oh. So basically the colors that I'm working with are um, the red and the gray. I mean, besides the black. Um, so like always, I'll go to voice over me so I can figure out what, like what to do. Something that's red, I'll give it a, a thought. Huh. And yeah, let's let's start with the actual sketching session. So here I just did the um, 
illustration that I first came up with, like, uh, I just googled the uh, red things, and I saw these little, like, fungus things, and, um, I remember that one of my minty seasons, I got those times, like, it had, like, the red head, I guess, if I, yeah, kinda, so I thought it would be really, really cute to, um, draw, so that's pretty much what I, I went ahead and, and did, and, I mean, I was just sketching it out to see um, how I was going to layer the color and how it was going to look. Not not because of how I wanted the illustration to end up, but I just wanted to know how the things work together, basically. And, uh, yeah, it helped me out a lot on how to actually, like, do the finalized piece. So here I just start with the initial um, sketch of how I want the little fungus thingies to look. And um, yeah, this is the pencil that comes with the like with the box, the touch drawing pen, the pencil, the Shinhart, Shinhanart, and it's the 3H. Usually I like uh, thicker lead than that, but I usually just use pencil for sketches like i never do actual finished pencil illustrations or anything like that so to me any pencil that they give is a good pencil basically because i don't see anything out of the ordinary with any of them it's just a pretty decent pencil so um and i have a like a buttload of them uh that i've received from from art snacks so uh, yeah just you know good old pencil
So here I start with the inking process and I try to use the three uh, pens that we were given, the three fine liners. And for the outline, I use the, like you can see right there, I use the 0.5. And for the smaller things, I use the 0.1. I think the 0.3 I didn't use a lot, but um, yeah, it's a solid fine liner. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice brand that they gave us. Uh, I mean, it's a nice brand overall. So, yeah, I did this job. I I appreciated the the um the thickness. The, like, I appreciate that we have the three sizes and things like that. Then just give one, so you can have a variety of lines. But um, yeah, I I'm enjoying these. So here it's uh, me using the acrylic marker and it was pretty nice to use. Um, the only thing is that I chose a like something with uh, that I have to like get around like little spots but I like when I will leave like little spots white I think it gave it like a nice highlight without actually using a gel pen or anything or a posca or anything like that so that was pretty nice but yeah it works pretty well and uh, the other supplies work well like on top of it like the liners work really well like with uh, with coloring like on top of it like to do to do my shadows and all that so yeah i really really recommend that i will get it in, in other colors in use it a bit more because i really appreciate how it turned out um reminds me a lot like uh poscas but i mean the it was a lot thicker but yeah it was it was a pretty nice supply
So here is the end, um, this is the illustration that I finished up and I really like how it turned out honestly, um, you know it was really fun not being able to completely cover this with red, it gave it like a little highlight or something like that, like it was pretty nice, um, I like how the black really worked well with the acrylic uh, marker like I can really go over it and make shadows and things like that not when it's wet though like we, we saw it here um, but overall I really enjoy this uh, illustration that I did so let's put the sticker I'm gonna put it some hmm I'm gonna take a picture of it first <laughs> without the sticker. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let's see where. Probably down here. So let's get this. Here. So here it is, and then I use my little washi tape that they um released because it gives it a nice touch, you know, so people can know that it's my art snacks illustration. Even though I have a specific sketchbook for that, <laughs> but in the future when I have just like my illustration sketchbooks, it doesn't matter about what about um art snacks or regular it's gonna be in the same sketchbook but until until then i'm gonna obviously keep doing this one but yeah i like the supplies a lot um i really like having this limited palette uh because it's usually make, makes me think outside of the box a little bit more but and the red gives it a nice pop you know 
But yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Tell me if you get art snacks too. And uh, if you got a different color for the acrylic marker. Tell me if you get the plus and if it's I should upgrade. So yeah, um, that's it. I hope you like it. Next video is a journaling one, so please uh, check that one out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.